What's up everybody, I'm Dr. Josh Yagoda. Today I wanna to show you a few things that you can do really simply and really easily to help relieve tension headaches. And tension headaches are really a lot of headaches that most of us actually suffer as a result of too much tension and tightness and discomfort that occurs within the neck, okay? When we sit at a computer, when we do things at home, whatever it may be, we sometimes get a lot of tightness. So especially when we do squinting, uh, the first thing I would recommend if you're on your smartphone or a computer, tablet, whatever, is just to take some breaks. Of course, these are basic things that we would normally do, but a lot of people don't do it as a result. So guys, you gotta take some time off away from that computer. All that computer, all these lights, all the squinting, all of this type of posture is going to cause some more tightness. So that's first. Of course, we wanna make sure we're hydrated, drink enough water. But let's just assume that all this is still happening and you're still having tension and discomfort in the back of the neck uh, that's creating a, this type of headache that comes across. So a lot of tension headaches will come up right around here. So what we need to do is figure out how to release that. Now there are a few muscles that are often involved and those are usually on the back end over here. They can also be here and I'm gonna show you how to release three of them so if one of them doesn't work, then try the other. If the other one doesn't work, then you have a third. But usually if you do these three things, they will help. So first thing we're going to do is we're gonna take our neck, the back here, okay? Right here on the back, underneath our occiput, right underneath our skull bone, there's two areas. So you might find that one side or the other. So we're gonna take a ball and we're going to just hold that in place and we're going to just let it sit over. Right, you're gonna find a really tender part of the spine or of the muscle that's right there. And all you wanna do is hold it. Now, if you have a, a, ball, a double ball or one of those two balls that you can tape together, that's great too, because then you can have both of this happening at one time. And you're gonna just place the ball here. So after you have that occurring, what you may want to do is just sit here and hold and slight gentle movements in the neck left and right. Why I say gentle movements is because if you have a headache, sometimes you get a little nauseated, you get a little dizzy, too much head and neck range of motion may cause more discomfort. And we want to just make sure that we're finding the angle that hurts, finding that spot and then holding it. What we'll do is be, is we'll repeat that process on the opposite side. If you only have a, a single ball, if you have a double ball, then you can just kind of sit there and hold it. That's two different muscles. So that's one muscle actually, but on two different sides. Now the next thing you can do is you can lay onto your back. There's this muscle right here called the SCM, the sternocleidomastoid. And you can see that right here. And so what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to kind of pinch it. And this muscle can be really tender. And so all you're going to do is just pinch and hold and then work your way up, pinch and hold. It's a muscle that comes down like this. So you can see it right here. You're gonna come in, pinch and hold. And finally, we have the upper trap muscle, which is a muscle that comes up this way. There are a lot of different ways to release it. One of the easy ways to release it is just to lean your head to your to the opposite way, just like this, if you're seated. But if you can't, if, if you're not seated and you wanna release it with a ball, you can just kind of go back and forth. You can tuck your head away, rotate towards, while you're having that compression. If you still can't get that muscle, uh, like I said, while you're seated, you could just do it this way, or you could just squeeze the trap a little bit but again, guys, you really do need to get away from that computer, away from that desk, and because a lot of tension headaches occur from these bad postures over time that create tension and tightness into the neck muscles. So if you just release the neck, the neck muscles, you'll release a lot of that tension headache and a lot of that pain that comes up and around. And then finally, as a quick little bonus thing, I do like to sometimes rub my temples very slowly we don't like to go really hard, especially on the temples because we can hit the arteries there, but that's not what we're trying to do. We're just trying to give some discomfort relief and get our head and our tension 
out of our head, out of our skull, and out of our neck. So guys, this is an amazing way to release, and this is like my go-to two, three, four things that I like to go to when I'm having tension headaches, when I'm sitting too long, or when I'm on a smartphone, or anything like that. This is definitely something I highly recommend, and it usually works almost every single time. So guys, give this a try. We'll see you guys for the next episode. Think about subscribing. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.